everyone. Welcome back to Reseller Rowboat. I'm glad you're here. I'm currently on a social media break, but I hope to be back real soon. Until then, I wanted to present you with a plus size clothing haul. I hope you're doing awesome. Let's launch this Reseller Rowboat. <laughs> you're here. Like I said, I'm on a social media break. I don't know when I'll be back on live, but I'll know when the time is right. Um, last month, March, I had my best month ever on eBay. I sold over $6,100 gross. Most of that was plus size clothing. So I thought I would come on and let you see some of the items that I'm picking up over and over again that are selling for me. Let me talk about some of these brands and why I picked them up. If you would please do me a favor and hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And also, if you would please comment below about these brands. Do you pick them up? Do you not? Why? I'd love to hear from you. So let's go ahead and get started. The first one is Established 1946. I bought one of those a couple of months ago and it sold almost right away. I see this a lot in my honey hole and I have just avoided the brand because it is a cheaper brand but I don't know I'm gonna take a chance I'm selling a lot of t-shirts right now because we're out of the sweater season and so I'm picking up a lot of t-shirts a lot of uh, swimsuits and slip dresses beach type dresses cover-ups that sort of thing uh, this is a Hanes shirt so this is just a men's shirt I'm gonna go ahead and skip that one. I'm going to try not to edit this video because I have another haul video to record and have very limited time. Uh, this says Sunday Fun Day. This is by Secret Treasures 2X. It's kind of an ugly gold color, but as I've told you guys before, the Secret Treasures pajama tops, if they are a um, single graphic print seemed to sell better than the ones that are all over except for coffee related items this is a single you know word um, phrase so I thought I would try it all right the next one is by Ava and Viv this is a 2x dress again this is not a color that I would normally wear but you would be really surprised with the puff sleeves. It has a sash to it. It has a ruffle. You know, the color to me is really gross, but there are a lot of people that have different views on the colors to wear. And so what's one person's trash is another person's treasure, right? This is a striped, like a beach dress sleeveless by Anna. It's a 1X. And I got it mainly because of the braiding on it. And this is a maxi dress, I believe. Yeah, it just goes on and on and on. So Anna has done quite well for me. I see here there is a close, a um, safety pin that I didn't know about that's making me a little nervous. I'm wondering why they put a safety pin at the bottom. Maybe it, this dress was too long for them. I would think that there would be a safety pin on the other side, but there's not. So I don't know. I was hoping that wasn't covering up any flaws. All right. This is a blue floral. Um, I did make a mistake in purchasing this. It has a belt, a sash loop. I usually cut those off if the sash is not here and the sash is not here. I usually don't buy them when there's no sash. I missed that one. Oh well. This is a motherhood maternity extra large with a keyhole back and this is just really cute. So I don't know. I may leave the the loops there. There's two loops so I'll probably leave both of the sash loops there. Then they can put a sash of their own choosing. Yeah, kind of mistake on that part. But the maternity plus size clothing is selling for me so I do pick it up. Time and True 2X. This is my typical t-shirt that I sell on this brand. Um, this one is not that great of a pattern. I don't see any 
Well, there are some studs, but the ones I like to pick up are much more colorful than this. But, I don't know. I think on this haul, I was getting disgusted because I wasn't finding much. And I was probably picking up things that I normally wouldn't pick up. I have about 130 drafts right now um, ready to go. So, I need to get the rest of these up. This is a Just My Size 4X. This is a dress. A brown with some floral and graphics on it. It's a sheath dress. And I like the bottom. If you would like to purchase any of these items, they will be listed within the next week. If you go down to my eBay store, which is listed below, and you use the coupon code ROWYOURBOAT, you will get 50% off your entire order. So something to think about, right? All right, next one is uh, next one is all right. This is an R and K dress, eighteen W. Now, a lot of the R and K dresses have jackets that go with them, and they are two piece sets. This is a zip up the back like a shift dress, but I really, really love the animal print pattern with the green and the brown. And normally, if it's part of a two-piece set, it will say that. And this one does not. So if it says it on the tag, I always disclose that in the description. This was originally part of a two-piece or three-piece set. So people will still buy it. All right, this is just a men's shirt. We're passing on that one. Nothing exciting about that. Okay, here we have a swimsuit. This is a swimsuit cover. This is a swimsuit top. And what I like about this one ooh, is the front where the straps are to make little teardrop shape. It's purple, black print on the bottom. Uh, and this is by Swimsuits for All, and it's a size 26. It's got the bra. What I like about the swimsuit tops is I don't have to worry about the crotch. Um, I always take pictures of the crotch of the swimsuits, and I don't have to worry about it. Um, some of the crotches look really gross. I just leave them there. Okay, this is a pair of beige Worthington dress pants. Um, it may have actually picked these up for me. So, I'm not sure what size they are. Yeah, I picked these up for me. So, I'm going to try these on because I am losing weight, and I'm needing to wear dress pants in the office, so... Those aside, running out of things to wear that fit and don't make me look like a clown. Notations 3X. This is just another animal print top. Notations is doing pretty well for me right now. This is super stretchy, and this could be worn in the office or casually. Okay, I guess we're going to call this animal print. I don't know. This is by Serengeti. It's an extra large. I've picked up several Serengetis lately. I don't know why. Um, I don't really sell them. You know, I mean, I've only got like two or three. I just started picking them up, but they, they look really nice. The clothes are very classy looking, and this is something that could definitely be worn in a um, casual office setting. So it's a tunic. Looks like we have another slip dress, or it could be a romper. I've picked up several rompers. I have a really cute romper up there right now ready to photograph. All right, this is an extra, extra large Old Navy tall, either a slip dress or a romper. We're going to see right now what it is. No, it's a, it's a slip dress. Isn't that a pretty pattern, though? Don't let the name Old Navy fool you. The, their clothes sell pretty well for me. I'm not going to pass up Old Navy if it's in a plus size. This looks very, very plain. I don't pick up a lot of solid items, but this is by, I have no possess. Never heard of that brand. Let me know if you have. It's a 4XL, which is why I bought it. It's a dress. It's just a basic blue, navy blue dress, but it could be dressed up with jewelry, a, a jacket, a duster. It's very, very stretchy. I think 
that will sew. All right, I need to open another bag, so hold on just a second. Even know if I am going to edit this out at all. All right. Let me know below what have you been doing. I've missed talking to you guys. If you ever want to hang out and work during the week, I am now working from home uh, on my eBay Mondays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays, and then sometimes on the weekend for a couple hours. So let me know if you want to hang out. We will do that. All right, this is a large something. This is by, I don't know what it's by. I think this is actually unbranded. It's a it's a one X, yeah, it's unbranded. And it's got a lady's name in it. This is the most beautiful robe. And I just love it. It's super, super soft. It has snap up. Look at the sleeves. Aren't they cute? This will sell even though it is unbranded. I have been selling a lot of sleepwear, robes, pajama tops, gowns. I, I'm very pleasantly surprised with how well those things are selling right now. The bathing suits, not so much, but we still have a couple of months before it's swimsuit season, so we'll see. This is by Catherine's. It's a 1X, and it's a sparkly top and in tie-dye. I have sold this before in different colors, so Catherine's is a no-brainer for me. For a while, I was going to my honey hole, and I wasn't finding very many Catherine's items, but last week I went, and I found quite a few, so I was glad. Uh, this is a JM Collection 2X. Guys, if you're not picking up JM Collection, you are missing out. JM Collection sells very, very well. This is just super sparkly, metallic thread throughout, real shiny, brown. This is so cute. I don't know if I could fit in this, though. I don't know. I might put this with these beige pants. I don't know what you think. I think I'm going to try that. I've also thought about, since my sizes are going down and I don't really know what size I wear half the time. Um, I thought until I get to my maintenance weight, possibly what I would do is every week just pick a lot of things that I buy and try them on and then wear them and see if I like them. And if I like them, keep them. If I don't put them back in the to be listed pile. And then when my size goes down again, hopefully, then I can put them in my to be listed pile. I'm thinking about doing that. So I don't know. I always say that, but I never do. This is Croft Barrow 2X. Croft Barrow is selling very, very well for me. Now I will only usually list this at $19.99 or best offer unless it's got some embellishments on it. If it has, you know, laser cut, it has rhinestones, it has a cute pocket has a cute ruffle, it can be worn in the office like polyester, then I'll up it to $24.99, sometimes $27.99. But Croft Barrow, I believe, is sold at Kohl's, so I started at $19.99, and the things are selling really well. I think that one back there might be, now that's a St. John's Bay. That's a new with tags, St. John's Bay back there on that mannequin. Um, trying to pick up St. John's Bay and, and see, you know, how I do with that now. Um, here's another night, uh, nightgown. This is called Friends of the Heart. And it's a 1X again. I've never heard of this brand. Let me know below if you do. Isn't this cute with the lace around the collar? This is just too cute with the plaid. Yeah, this will definitely sell. And I gotta look up the brand. If you haven't watched my channel before, the way I comp clothes is, I would say like, on this one, I would say, Friends of the Heart, 1X, Nightgown, in Terrapeak. And then I would um, go to the Intimates and see what had sold in pre-owned. And let's say it says the average selling price was $17. Then I would up the starting price of this to $27.99. I go $10 approximately up. That gives room for me to run my 10% off 
my 20% off coupon or people to make me an offer. And typically in the beginning, if it sells within the first six months, I get between that $17 and the 27. Not always, and um, but that's typically how I do it, $10. So if it comes at like it sold for $11, then I usually do $19.99. So because I have my price buckets, I don't have anything that's listed $21.99. All right, forgetting where my things are. All right, next one is a black stripe. Boy, that makes you dizzy. That's Chico's size four, which would be approximately a 1X. And I don't see many size fours in Chico's. So I went ahead and picked up this cute tank top. And I believe it's either going to be a 0X or a 1X. I'm going to have to look that up on my Chico's chart because it's been a while since I've sold, I found a size four. Um, next one is Roz and Ali of 3X. Again, this is a brand you wouldn't think, you know, you're not going to get a lot of money for it, but they're popular and they, they do sell. This has roll tab sleeves. Again, a lot of plaids going on. This is burgundy. Yeah, my plaid section is filling up. So, but I will say that last month my store shrank and is it shrank or shrunk? Anyway, um, it did. It went down by about a hundred items, and I was very happy with that. That means I'm selling more than I'm listing, so that's a great thing to happen. Now, remember, some of them sold on Poshmark as well. All right, next one's LuLaRoe 3XL. This is just my typical T-shirt that I sell for LuLaRoe, but I only pick up very interesting patterns. Typically, I start my T-shirts at $24.99. Sometimes $19.99, it just kind of depends on the look of it. but And usually my dresses start at $24.99 as well. So, you know, I a lot of the t-shirts I pick up from LuLaRoe are asymmetric. I don't put the design name, you know, they, a lot of them have designs, unless it's new with tags and it tells me, it confirms me what the design is. Because when I go to the LuLaRoe, website i get so confused because to me they all look basically the same the the dresses look the same they have pockets some of them are asymmetric i can't really tell i've had customers write to me and say oh this is a carly or this is a sylvia or whatever and i'm like thank you very much but i don't want to be limited also by people typing in that style i want people who are looking for a an asymmetric dress i want to come up so i'm not really worried about it all right, this one is by Old Navy again, extra, extra large. This is like a mini tank dress in a navy blue and white stripe. This is really cute. This would be great for summer. What's on the front that I'm seeing there? Oh, it's just pleats. I thought maybe it was a hole. All right, so this was just a small portion of what I got on Monday. I am going to be doing a follow-up video to this one to show you the rest of the items. Again, please, please comment below, leave me a message, hit the thumbs up. I really appreciate you being here. And remember, we're all in this business boat together, so paddle on. Bye.